Hello guys, so I'm here, I'm again making some coasters So I have mixed the resin here And I am using Jellyction resin I got <clears throat> Let me just explain to you This one is a soap and I made them cloud So it's normally ivory soap you can use and leave in a microwave for around two minutes this one i had to do for three minutes because i use whole soap bar because i live in the uk i couldn't get the ivory soap so i tried lakura family soap bars it's a four pack of four it's only 59 pence and it's available in aldi um, supermarket so that's where i got it from and i have used one soap just like a normal looks like normal soap so i use whole soap and you can see how much come out and this one i just cut in a small pieces so i'm just doing like a cloud sky uh, for the background and i'm putting vinyl on top so so as usual, the resin got mixed, so I'm using Jellyction Mica Powder, which is going to go in this whole mixed resin. I don't want to make it too opaque because I want to see through the cloud. So I'll make sure I don't add too much mica i just add a little bit at a time to see if uh, it's enough or not and i add more if we need it So you can see it's kind of clear it's not opaque it has got blue tint but it's not opaque so can I have a look when I pour them just make sure you mix properly I tried with the leather soap and it didn't work so I thought it might be leather soap because that called ivory soap as well but it didn't work and then I saw online some people did use this um, Aldi pure bar soap so that's the reason why I went uh, <laughs> I went actually from work to get it so what I do now I'm just going to add so we've got the soap here, I'm just going to put on the side, just one small, I'm just going to take my glow off right now because I don't need it. So I'm going to I'll fill up on the side properly and then uh, a little bit in the middle. Hope I don't get too many bubbles. So that it looks like it has cover almost on the side. I put on the top um, once I pour the resin. So okay, pour the resin and good job is I mixed the resin and the bubble is already started popping up. It's coming up. 
then do one more stir. That's lovely, beautiful. Love this mica color. True blue is cold. And just pour. So I'll push those cloud down because I want the other side. So push them down. I may have to do another layer on the top to cover. Let me see. And luckily it's not many bubbles coming up so that's one of the good things so let's get heat done and then put some more in the middle small one small pieces not too big don't break that otherwise you get powder try to break in a container Just push this down. No, it'll come out, but I'll push them down when the resin start getting sticky, and I'll do another layer on the top as well. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it. And once the resin start getting sticky, I'll push them down so it sticks properly and I'll do another layer on the top as well. So thank you guys for watching. So this is how it looks at the back before the demolding. It has raised a little bit, but I'll put some um, clear resin on the top later on to cover it so let's demold it now hope it looks all right oh look at the beautiful cloud looks so beautiful but it looks more beautiful this side so uh, yeah, I do recommend that you use on um, your top surface when you pour. Doesn't look too bad, but yeah, that's the. You can just do other way around. Just do more down the door. Lovely. 
lovely beautiful This one is this gone all in the middle, but never mind. I'm going to do some key rings as well. That's how it looks. So I do, I'm going to put some vinyl, so now I am going to put some vinyl, I have only got three vinyl cuts so I'm using, I'm putting on a three of the coaster and I'll do one later on. So I got here, that train goes here with the steamy cup of coffee or tea. So, yeah, I got a transfer tape on the top, and I'll show you the easy way to transfer. Well, this is how I find it easy. Just put use your um this bit and just uh, just do like this. Give pressure, and it comes off so easily. And all your um. Why not get stuck properly as well? I went wrong way, I should have started from the other side. this one and use this one got quite enough oh um, maybe on this one yeah I did measure it hopefully it fits there if it doesn't I'm screwed no oh, it does perfect fit I think I have cut um, 8.5 by 8.5 on my clip cut and then just trying to press it down and move this, take this off. see and now the resin will go on the top so now um, on this one I got tree and the birds which is going on here so I need to go I'm using the same transfer tape on all of them don't know if you're using the same time you don't need to get the new one every time so first, just pressing it down on a tap, and then I start from this side. Oh, let's see. Something left. What was that? Just right on here. Oh, 
Okay, so I use um, this one here, but I'm going right on the edge this way because I got it looks like a cut tree from the frame. I might have to move this bird it's a little bit out. So I move the bird and one of the space once I take it off. This one I cut a little bit bigger because I knew it I can just use the bird a little bit closer here. I knew it is going to cut off. It won't fit there. But it doesn't really matter. You can hold it in your hand or you can stick it yourself. Oh, oops, oh, I can't find. So that's how it looks. It looks like a beautiful sky, and the bird are uh, the tree and the bird. The birds are uh, flying away from the tree, or some of them are coming back. So I leave it just right there. Don't want to cover that cloud. So I just put it there. So this is how we look. And the resin will go on top and it will look beautiful. So now the last one. Same one. I'll have to move this one now or maybe I just no, I leave it. I'll, I'll do it. I'll take it off with my hand and then do it. So that's how we look. I'm just going to put this back here just in case the right one to use again. And yeah, I'm going to resin now. I already mixed the resin before I started doing this. So I'm using the same resin, Jellyfiction. And put my glow. And I'll start pouring. Got my glow. The bubbles have gone as well. It's only a few micro bubbles left. That's the one advantage when you have um when you put um when you have um when you leave your resin for a little bit longer, um when you mix it and leave leave it sit let it sit for at least ten minutes before you start working the because of the heat in the room is the bubbles disappeared okay so just here going to use my toothpick and go on a corner because i don't want to go i don't want to go with uh, my uh, lolly stick otherwise i'll be touching on the side which i don't want to just know it it's right there the mold is not shiny anymore so what i do on the side i will give a little touch of resin as well with the toothpick Just going like this to make sure it's got beautiful um, 
shiny look there. Don't add too much otherwise it will drip on the side so I'm making sure I'm not adding too much at the same time I have to power as well Okay, so that's all done and that looks so nice. I'm just going to use a lightly heat gun and then I won't touch it. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.